Namaskar, this is me, Sanya Raj, back again. I'm so sorry with the technical problems we've been having. I hope uh, Deepthi Ji can join us now. And I'm trying to get her here. So let's see. Hanji Deepthi Ji, can you hear me? I can hear you. I, I was able to hear you then as well. Okay, great. Now we yeah. can. Okay, Deepthi Ji, great. Welcome to Onboard here. And uh, we I hope people will join us. Now, there are not too many, but let's uh, hope that they will join us. Uh, what we are now today, we're going to be talking about a uh, few things that we discussed before also. And uh, the number one question, Deepthiji, that I want to ask you is that the first, when we've seen in, um, you know, um, in the Twitter accounts and in other accounts, aapki picture chali hai. in the other accounts, the disclaimer. Uh, the disclaimers that you have had. So if you can just talk more on that front, okay, what kind of disclaimers and what is the intention of those disclaimers? See, initially, uh, I started sharing uh, these drives. When I started sharing these drives, I didn't know what plan of action I had in mind. I just had been to CBI office twice, uh, uh, but in, despite uh, having one confirmed appointment and other was uh, without appointment, I just tried my luck. I yeah. couldn't meet. I couldn't meet the officer in charge of Sushant's case, uh, CBI officer in charge. Though I could meet the NCB officer and a uh, lot of work happened there as well. I passed on the information and he has, Samir Vankade sir, has also come on uh, Varun Kapoor's YouTube show and he has confirmed. I mean, there, are, there were other, uh, you know, SSR warriors like... Uh, Priti Pandey, Varun Kapoor, all were there. And Samir sir had even confirmed that they are working on the inputs provided by Deepthi ji. Okay, that's, that show is there on there. Okay. So after that, when I couldn't, I did pass on, pass on a message to Samir sir as well as to why I came. And the actual reason for my visit to Mumbai was to hand over some things related to the drives to Nupur madam. So I asked him if he can pass the message. He said... I don't interact much with her, but uh, if uh, she ever comes to Mumbai and get to meet her, I will definitely pass on the message. That was that was what he had told me. Okay. Right. So after that, I started. I didn't have any plan of action. I just wanted uh, to attract the attention because I knew that people, that I mean, uh, the people in the agencies knew that I had the drives. Okay. So maybe if I start sharing it in the public, and the disclaimer, let me tell you here, this is not my work. Firstly. Someone else has written it. Hmm. And that someone else is no more. Sushant Singh Rajput has written it. And uh, the files that I share, I am sharing have big names. Ji, I, I understand that. But what I want to come down to is that the disclaimer you have written, this disclaimer, jo aapne, please you just let us know so it gets, gets clearer to all the SSRians who are listening to you today and will be listening to this show, uh, you know, behind that disclaimer. Kis ke liye likha aapne? Aapne is ke liye likha ki ye aapne. Haan. Nee, nee. Is liye ka kyunki uh, Sushant ke slides mein kafi bade naam the. There were many big names. Right. Okay. Against whom lot of stuff was. And uh, agar. If I don't add that disclaimer, okay, agar, agar, uh, see, I don't, I didn't know. I just wanted, uh, people, I mean, the CBA people to contact me. I mean, I thought that maybe if I start sharing things in the public, then uh, uh, they will feel the pressure and contact me to talk or something. But that didn't happen. So I kept on sharing. I mean, the disclaimer I kept because in case, let's say there's, there are names of Salman Khan on, uh, you know, Shah Rukh Khan and some big NGOs as well. So some minister's name, some producer's name. So I didn't want to tell, I wanted to keep it in suspense actually, because it's a big thing, laying hands on one's drives. So if I suddenly start, so, but, but today in the morning when I discussed it with you, okay, uh, I saw no sense in continuing with the disclaimer. So uh, today, yeah, today I went and I just tagged uh, all the authorities saying that these are indeed, I declare that these are indeed, uh, Sushant Singh, late Sushant Singh Rajput's drives, and I request the authorities to take note, either acknowledge or deny. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. Because, because uh, yes, of course, the, the, that disclaimer uh, will put a lot of people in on doubts. Exactly. But my soul, 
but my sole intention of putting that was to you know since i already have a case in icg okay people want to harass me okay i am already target mm-hmm. right so i didn't want to take further uh, you know uh, i mean someone because they have deep pockets we are seeing in sushant's case top lawyers like manchinde are uh, defending uh, the accused and the culprits right so right. they have deep pockets they can have big lawyers and before i can share uh, and the entire drive content because i haven't yet decrypted it we are still decrypting it what if what if they file a lawsuit and then say whatever take i mean take over or something anything can happen right nitya ji i just want to first let's take one question at a time the disclaimer side the question that you are saying you disclaim the reason for your disclaimer was that i understood from you in the i will call when we had spoken you said that it is because the content that i have not written i have not written the content it is written by someone else and i just yeah. that See, is a story but Sanayaji. but i just yeah. want to ask you the authenticity of the information that you are passing to all mm-hmm. the historians here we are connected with about 27 people today they are listening they want to know the authenticity of what you are talking are the disks authentic are this information drives. that drives. the 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 drives and the digital uh, you know uh, drives that you're talking about are these authentic they how are authentic you know? hmm. there are very much authentic and uh, can uh, are even admissible as uh, proof in the court of law okay so because uh, uh, i mean there are ways to check okay through network route through ip tracing and through the software purchase uh, details software package purchase details because uh, sushant has you know designed an interface using two three softwares so using word processors sorry mm-hmm. yeah using word processors and uh, so naturally when cbi knows cbi knows uh, how to verify the authenticity of the hard drives we have they have found sachin vajay's hard drives in, from inside the river right ji ji hmm. देखिए हम ये बोलना चाह रहे हैं ये मिस्टर श्रीकांत है वो हिंदी में बता बोलना चाह रहे हैं हम हिंदी भी बोलते हैं अंग्रेजी भी बोलते हैं सब चीजें बोलते हैं हम हिंदी में बोलेंगे कि अगर हम ये जो ड्राइव्स हैं जो पहली बात तो डिस्क्लेमर का जो मुझे समझ आया आपने आज पूरे अथॉरिटीज को टैग किया है और बोला है ट्विटर में कि ये सारी इंफॉर्मेशन जो हम मैं आपको दे रही हूँ ये ऑथेंटिक है या आपने दे दी ऑथेंटिक है ऑथेंटिक ये सुशांत के ड्राइव का कंटेंट है ये सुशांत के ड्राइव्स का कंटेंट है और जो सुशांत के ड्राइव्स जो हैं ये वो लोग डिजिटली चेक कर सकते हैं कि ये उसी का आराम से आराम से कर सकते हैं आराम से इट डजंट टेक मच टाइम इधर राइट ऑफ कोर्स जो लोग को पता है वो तो कर सकते हैं बिकॉज़ एंड ऑल दीस अथॉरिटीज नाउ माय नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन सी मुझे भी डर है सी मुझे भी डर है कि इफ बाय सी वन थिंग वी शुड अंडरस्टैंड हियर दैट आई डोंट नो हूम टू ट्रस्ट ओके बिकॉज़ if we look at cbi i mean in fact there have been cases where it has uh, suppressed the evidence why why anyone else we have our own uh, rabia khan ji ji right? ji bilkul bilkul so so naturally i wanted to you know keep uh, so i i will hand over but i will naturally these are digital things we can share it there is right. no need to hand over the things okay right. Right. so I will tell one thing here that CBI, uh, though it showed interest on the call that I made to Rakesh Asthana sir's office, okay, how that's what that was how the appointment with with Nupur Prasad ji was set in the first place, okay. Uh, she knew that what I was coming for, but uh, I think she on some urgent work or on unexpected work she had to leave to Belapur office, but I couldn't get to meet her, and I could I didn't get any uh, I mean any sort of other uh, approach from. them as well okay right yeah exactly. we have been trying yeah my team has been in contact with see if i am in the shri devi's case uh, naturally i have uh, as i was telling i have interacted with top ministers and all so the talks are going on it's not that uh, they are not taking note or something they are see these interviews these videos are being watched i'm with you let me tell you these um, things are being watched these are things are being watched even by the people whose names are getting exposed these things are being watched by the agencies this these videos are being watched by the authorities as well right they are uh, not oblivious they are not oblivious of it but um, only thing is that only thing is that if 
if cbi accepts this evidence okay if it acknowledges this evidence then it has to i mean because it is admissible okay all it has to do is to check if it is admissible or not check for the authenticity that can be done very quickly and then they have to accept it, them as proofs and then they have to start act, acting on it right because the content in the drives clearly says that he will be killed because he's trying to expose the uh, crime nexus the bollywood is associated with right that is the reason yeah see many big names are associated we have uh, uh, politicians we have everyone is trying to bury this case i'm with you i just want to take up what uh, people are saying here just let's let's read about it so that we can you know so he says jia's case um aadha solve hua hai salman khan ne ka kehna hai ki wo band hua hai you know and aur kya hai main acha aur fir kya likha hai ye mr monali mona lisa hai ek shrikant bhi hai mona lisa kehti still awaiting for justice uh, maybe justice one day and uh, you know request everybody to boycott bollywood Uh, shall we hope for positive outcome and uh, ye mitali ji bol rahi hain and then uh, this somebody called kunya kunya she is saying um, uh, yeah ma'am aap bhi odisha se hain to she is from odisha and uh, <laughs> and then we are is saying that we are giving when you are giving hard drives to cbi kindly keep a copy वो ये आपको बोल रही हैं वो तो डेफिनेटली आप करेंगे मैरी एंड एंड देन सम पीपल आर थैंकिंग यू दीप्ति जी एंड देन एंड देन सिस इज बॉयकॉट अली खान एक्टर सुमन जी कह रही है जस्टिस फॉर सुपन सो आई एम सो ग्रेटफुल टू ऑल द व्यूज वॉचिंग राइट नाउ अच्छा ये जो दीप्ति जी देखिए आपका डिस्कलेमर का समझ आया है आपने उस चीज को करेक्ट कर कर इन्फॉर्मेशन पहुंचा दी है इस बारे में सो आई वॉन्ट पीपल नो दैट योर डिस्कलेमर जब आपने शुरू में डाला था इट वॉज बेसिकली फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ योर सिक्योरिटी लेटिंग वो उसके लिए आपने डाला था बट इन्फॉर्मेशन बिकॉज अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इफ लुकिंग एट दाउ थिंग्स आर गोइंग ओके इफ आई हैंड एडेड दैट डिस्कलेमर एंड इफ सम वन कम्स इफ सम ऑफ द बिग नेम use some big lawyer and file some case on me and see if they want to have access to the drives obviously when if they get hold of me and ask me where did this information come that i will have to uh, show them the drives and right so anything can happen are you getting me i will be trapped in a situation where i will have to let go of the drives or something i might because i have seen many games being played uh, while i was uh, uh, while i am with shridevi ji's case i'm with you Okay. And I totally understand, Dipti ji. I just want to go ahead. आपने कहा कि one is the disclaimer part. We have already established it. आप आज गई हैं Twitter accounts में. आपने सबको लिखा है कि मेरे पास authentic information है इसकी. आप मुझसे connect करें. या आप मेरी इस information को ये बोलें कि it is not okay. So, but you should give me the answer. Is that what you are yes. expecting of the agencies? The yes, fact. I, I... i have exact tweet that i have written uh, written is that i declared i hereby declare that uh, this uh, i mean i have quoted all the drives that uh, i hereby declare that uh, these shares of mine are, are the original contents of uh, uh, late sushant singh uh, rajput's drives so i kindly request the authorities i have tagged the hmo i have tagged the pmo i have tagged the uh, nupur prasad i have tagged the ip official officials and uh, i request them this authorities to you know take note and uh, either acknowledge or deny okay so that is something which you expect from the authorities that they should either so they have to because if you now you can now you people have something right she is claiming either accept or deny that you can ask right people can right. so keep put the pressure on exactly my next question is that ncb uh, officer mr samir vankhede he acknowledged yes he acknowledged so that yes. only one agency who has acknowledged your workings right yes ncbi has not done it modi ji has not come forward or any other authorities have not come forward to you is no, that no i cannot no 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 don't i am telling you that i am getting feelers from authorities i, I cannot disclose right now it is too early to say because uh, as i told you in shridevi ji's case also 
many authorities uh, we had talks with many authorities some had promised support and cooperation as well but nothing happened on ground so right. so i don't want to commit early today or you know uh, it's a case of once bitten twice shy feelers are coming what? now as so but but i would rather i would rather uh, actions on ground or the results on ground speak for themselves than me saying something which might not happen again because it is not in my hands it's in their hands i'm with you i just want to mediate this response from your side that what you are saying is you are you haven't heard so much from cbi you have got uh, good in uh, you know connect with ncb who has responded to you and your workings and from authorities you are getting feelers is that yes. the same? yes 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 yeah. so this is the status now the next question to you deepthi ji is that that um, you know some people are also raising these questions which i would like to mediate to you that how is it that these such important disks came to a watchman what is that background do you want to talk a bit on that how is it possible that a watchman is carrying such an important disks and one more thing you also mentioned that there there are not just this copy there are many other copies who are floating in the market no not floating in the market i mean somebody See, has it somebody has it See, it's not like this. Let me put it in the correct perspective. Okay. Obviously, the copies of Shushant's drives which I have with me are not the only ones. There are other copies as well, but I don't know where they are. I am sure of this fact that there are other copies as well. Out of which one copy, since since I was investigating into Shri Devi Ji's case, that means I had some sources from inside the industry as well, right? Are you getting me, Sanya Ji? Even in one of the slides, I had if I could gather so much information and to be able to present a criminal, I mean, to to be able to present a case to the Supreme Court of India, which got accepted as criminal petition. Let me be uh, make one thing very clear here. Any criminal petition accept नहीं हो जाता unless and until you do not have substantive evidence. It the your petition will not will not be accepted at all. Forget it being accepted as criminal petition in the first place. okay so uh, yeah so what i am saying here is that uh, so i have sources from inside the industry since i was already uh, researching on shri devi ji since the past two years so somehow from somehow i got the information that there was this watchman who had who was fleeing to dubai via kolkata and somehow so our team reached out to him it was too good an information to miss and once we laid hands i can i cannot go into so much details because i cannot go into so much details because uh, see uh, sanya ji even even the court will never ask the source of information if the information is authentic the only question the court sees is if the information is admissible or not it is not advisable for me to i mean tell everything in so much detail because this is something that people are trying to suppress there are some lives at stake hmm. right hmm. i cannot simply say and say which team of mine went from there how did they go i cannot dissect and say we have to take care of our safety as well and safety of my team members as well and that person as well where is he can he come? see i cannot i am just here i don't i i have too much on my head i didn't want to take a take this up but this was something which shouldn't have gone to wrong hands i feel so uh, we after the drives came to me naturally i didn't go and catch the watchman or something my team did and during this lockdown it took some time for the drives to reach me after the drives reached me i verified we verified it after i got sure of it then it was then that i contacted cb office hmm. and so, then the meeting was set yeah and and the thing my next question to you comes is like okay what i understand is disclaimers have you corrected it the information is authentic because you mm. say that anybody who is a it understanding person can see exactly. that is from his computer anybody can understand no no This not anybody not anybody because i haven't shared the credentials i haven't shared the credentials page of uh, uh, sushant's drives that is for the authorities when they if they ask for the proof we have the credentials phrase uh, page they can check the details from there and they can even they can even take out the details themselves right well, exactly right. this is this it is, is not that yeah it is not that easy you just look at the uh, interface uh, the faraday interface and uh, 
they can say that this belongs to Shashank. No, no, no. no. I am not saying that. You have to do some work. They have to trace the IP. They have to work on the software package uh, details uh, to find out. They have to trace the network route. And all this and uh, matching with the locations of Sushant, everything, I mean, like, it's in the name of Sushant only, whatever it is. There's mm -hmm. no doubt about it. So it can be proved beyond doubt. It can be proved beyond doubt that this is Sushant's. And if I share the credential space, of course, if uh, someone is from the IT, they can make sure. But right. I don't. I, I think this is not the right time for it. Right. No, of course it is. Now, my next question is, because when we were talking, we said that, the most uh, astonishing part of the whole journey is that you were being invited by CBI because you took, uh, you know, uh, you gave a call to them and then they gave you the date. But somehow, Ma'am Nipur was busy in some other important task. And yes. after that, you have not heard anything from them that, okay, we would like to reschedule the meeting or something like that. You haven't. No, 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 no. I haven't. I haven't. I haven't heard anything from them yet. And you haven't either approached them to say that, ma'am, let's again meet? No, I haven't. I have seen again after two weeks, after the appointment uh, date, again after two weeks, I had to go to Mumbai because uh, my meeting with Samir Vankresar was set. Right. Okay. At that point of time, I went to Bandrakula office again. Right. Okay. But I had no appointment. So I was told that she was not, uh, she was not in uh, Mumbai. Okay. Okay. Let's right. see, this is a lockdown time. I am also not super superhuman. I mean, I don't have resources growing uh, uh, tree in my this thing to be to keep flying every time everywhere she is going or something like and this is the lockdown time. Okay, I too have a family and during the pandemic time the travel and all it is limited. There is now the movement is limited. See, it is the duty of the agencies that when someone if they are saying that the, uh, the investigations are getting delayed for lack of evidence, when someone is coming forward had made the effort to fly down during this pandemic time, contact you after the confirmation and they have come down to, I mean, hand over these things, not hand over, but uh, pass on information about these things to the CBI officer in charge. Does the on onus only lie on me to keep chasing them? What am I getting out of it? I mean, I will keep spending my money. I will keep spending my time. I will take the risk of the travel during the lockdown. I will have the risk of uh, being uh, held up in quarantine. And what am I? How many times can I try? That's true. That is the yeah. question uh, through you we are raising to the um, you know agencies that, as you said, that you got very good uh, you know uh, kind of a meet with Mr. Samir Vankere. Hats off to him. We are grateful to him that he met you and gave him gave you his response, and that was very important. And we are thankful to the NCB for that account. But when it comes to CBI, we have a lot of question marks because it is it is through you, and you are uh, living proof that what they did with the kind of meat you wanted to do, but uh, somehow it didn't this work is, out. I don't understand why is this so astonishing. If CBI has done the same with Rabia Khanji, she had to approach Central Vigilance Commission to get some sort of response from them. Right. So mm. I don't understand why are people so very astonished that CBI is not taking. And, it's, and I want people to ask the agencies. See, I have documented everything. In spite of me documenting everything, as I was telling yesterday, that I am expecting a lot of mud slinging on me. Because all the IT cells of these people, these big, big celebrities whose names are getting exposed, now I will be, they will target me now. So it, the attack has started. Today morning, I get up and I see that uh, people are questioning me on the basis of some fake chats created from some fake account mentioning my name. Okay, some fake chat between me, I mean, someone mentioning that I, 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 I mean, about the diaries and all. Of course, that account opened for that purpose only and it closed for that purpose only. Okay, but the trolls started attacking me. That was their agenda. Uh, you are Vibor's team. What is this you need to clarify? I mean, even uh, some leading YouTubers also. They didn't have the basic common sense. They didn't have the basic common sense to check the authenticity of the account that shared the StreamYard's uh, chat or something. Okay. It has zero followers. It has, it, it follows none, the account. 
and uh, it was created only it was created only to post this this way but, and but after even, and after it was traced after it was traced and all the account got closed and okay. after a, after half day of harassment with questions and all uh, those people come back saying that now okay yeah there was a false flag so this okay. kind of harassment has started this kind of harassment has started as well right um, Dipti, uh, i'm totally with you and i mean like these if this kind of mud slinging you know the until the authorities come to you and say that oh my god we've got something really uh, you know good stuff from dipti ji this you know wavering will always be there that's why we are here today no, to so very no, 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 no. the question here is that so you uh, i mean i will have to undergo all this melan despite being true uh, to my country and as a true citizen just because the author agencies are not responding no Don't but you think that's a bit unfair no, on me no but see dipti ji the point is not that somebody is uh, you know putting a mud slinging because everybody who is mud slinging on you are doubting the fact of authenticity of the information which is being passed because from our past records people have just misused social media and it's yes of course so that's the reason no i will tell you one thing here sanya ji theek hai last time also uh, regarding shri devi ji's case they called some of my documents fake and they filed an rti the rti response came that such communication doesn't exist it said it is a und undocumented letter for that it said just such the such document doesn't exist in the records of department of defense okay mm -hmm. so and they started misleading people that I, it was forgery first let me tell you it didn't come out that they, they were fake it just came out as it was clearly mentioned in the letter that it was undocumented and it came out the rti response was that the record of this conversation doesn't exist in the department of defense if it had been fake so i mean people should understand one thing whatever the propaganda be okay if they were fake will i be sitting here uh, for the for a big offense like forging defense ministers none other than defense ministers right signature and letterhead no right this no, is no. something yeah but, that people should understand but, 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 here also that time also i had gone to cbi office when i went to cbi office to hand over shushan's drive the people who were trolling me i called them out advocate chandnisha and sonia rainya okay i told them see listen you will say these are not fake these are fake i will say these are uh, real or something so let us do one thing i am coming to mumbai let us go together to the cbi office you can you for yourself see if i am fake or if i am authentic and if you find i am fake then you can take me to the uh, nearby police station file and affair or if i am so transparent so what they will not meet me even after i go to their city they will not meet me but all they will do is troll 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 to everyone who is asking about the authenticity of the drives i will just tell you one thing it will get proved i will not prove it by sharing videos and everything just because you want to satisfy your curiosity no this is something the information that we have got is something very very precious and very very special this is not this is not mm yahi nahi hai theek hai if you want if you really want if i even share the videos and all what will happen like my original ncb letter was uh, uh, called fake and it was defamed and everything finally i filed a cyber comp complaint and uh, uh, action was taken but that's a different thing even this proofs will be maligned and what will you people do then you'll come asking me for more proofs can there be the video and if you go on dissecting there is only one your short way okay whoever it is just now that i have removed the disclaimer i have made it easier for you people go ahead someone or the other so many thousands of people are seeing the the motive of me sharing this on public media is only that when so many people are connected someone or the other might be having contacts with the cbi or something come on come my head and tell them that some a lady is claiming so and she is tagging you uh, what is it? can we set up a meeting what is it ask you yourself ask right come continuously ask me i will say that they are true because i know that they are true if you ask questions pinpointedly how did you get it how could the watchman give it to you i mean if the same thing had happened with the cbi no questions would have come it's the same version it's just because anyway it's okay but uh, what i'm saying is that since i was investigation uh, investigating and in 
into the same industry obviously there was uh, we had uh, access to inside sources and information so that's how we got the information about this watchman who was fleeing to dubai uh, via kolkata and we caught him and uh, more than this i wouldn't like to say anything at all people questioning the authenticity of it i will just ask one thing kindly set up a meeting or kindly get some kind of acknowledgement or response from the agencies you don't have to say accept them you if you are not sure all you need to do is that write to them or call them and say that sir a lady named dipti rani peneti is sharing this uh, uh, i mean things on the social media sushant's drive sir is it true if it is not true kindly take action or stop her for misleading at least you can do this right i'm with you i'm totally yeah. with you uh, dipti and my the thing is that you you have now been very clear in the authenticity and that is what my uh, one of the good agendas was that people who are listening to you understand where you're coming then the second thing is that you have actually accessed the uh, agencies and you managed one part of the agency which was a drug but not the other side my my question to you is uh this kind of uh, proofs that one carries the way you are carrying uh, you know how generally because you've had sri devi's case and you've come a long way there how do you see from your understanding and knowledge that when you've been working behind the scenes like this how the agencies work with people like you who just come up and say after some time that okay uh, hello i have got some proof for you how do you see that what kind of behavior they must have like anybody calling them this is i've got to prove they should just entertain them or they have to have some protocol. they have to they have to look into it right if someone is calling them and saying they have to call them and they have to look into the proof like ncb did right they had me all satisfied with that kind of response you got in ncb naturally see what is there i mean firstly no one is mad enough to leave all their work and go and tell that i have proof if i have something then that is the reason i have taken pains to you know fly down and hand it over to them so at least the minimum courtesy is to come and check right to receive but then here they will not do that why you know because once they acknowledge the drives then comes the next thing action why is action not being who are the culprits now they are silent saying that is ti- taking time for investigations but if they acknowledge susha if they acknowledge acknowledge this drives a lot of a lot of people's names it will be clear that he was murdered they will be forced to declare that this is a murder and they they will be forced to act there so they are delaying it as much as possible right. so here i am here the main motive of coming to the social media and sharing these things in, here is that to tell the people that shushan sacrificed his life for the sake of us you people all of us so that we can have a better future okay mm. so if the agencies or if the authorities whatever it is there have been cases in the past they continue for years and years and years together with no closure with no conclusion while the accused roams freely parties does movies does engagements and all okay uh so what i'm saying is that if you don't put pressure public pressure is something that uh, can work wonders but public has to stay united for that okay i am coming out and saying now what i would suggest people is that rather than i mean uh having me talk the same thing over and over again and ask me the same questions one simple question i will ask you kindly so many people are watching right kindly try and establish connect with the cb i am trying from my own side but since you people have so many doubts kindly try from your side as well one question just need to ask them is sir this lady is or at least start with tagging them start with tagging them this lady uh, deepthi rani pineti is claiming that she has access to sushant's drives and she is sharing content which she is claiming to be sushant's drives content sir kindly look into take note if they are true acknowledge and if they are not true kindly deny and take action see i cannot actually uh, reveal all the information as i am telling you in the court of law also they will never ask you for the source of the information the information is what matters right 
the source of information the authenticity and everything this is for those who will act on it are you getting me sanya ji okay yeah. so now that stage has not come because we haven't tried we haven't tried all the ways that we have if ultimately nothing even after the public uh, talks to them and if even there is a public i outcry asking them to acknowledge or deny my drives and still there is silence let's say there's a big public uproar every day people are attacking them and uh, mainstream media i don't think i think i hope arnab comes forward if arnab comes forward and uh, shows them then nothing like it tag arnab i am trying from my side but uh, you can you people can help come with you you can yeah you people can help connect yeah very 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 valid point and everybody needs to come and do and as you said is people who are in action has to get the final you know uh, the work that you've done that is agreed but you know what the thing is the fact that you know we are listening to you is what we are trying to you know when i say we we i'm i'm belonging to that commoners that ssarians who are really really having high hopes from you so there is a kind of a in, intention to clear to get clarity of thought from you and since you are uh, giving your honest opinion about what your acts it is even better because then you establish a kind of credibility in a different manner and and that is very important viditti ji because as you said that coming out was your purpose to prove your credibility that is why you came out because you said no, that no 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 cbi cbi was cbi yeah. was not listening to you the authorities and agencies the agency especially did not give you the response that you were looking for so that is yes. why you said that okay i will go out and tell to the public and let's yes, put pressure exactly. on yes exactly yes right so that yes. was the thing but when you go out there has to be a credible source because then you know as i told you we've had past records and that is why this kind of you know ping pong thing the has to past records that you are talking about uh, those past records have also record of getting arrested for peddling lies those past records have also have history of fir's uh, being filed on their name for peddling false news okay all i am having here is trolling on social medias right. okay i i am saying i am openly saying come on you first get it from the authorities mouth i cannot say anything more than this without compromising on the safety of uh, uh, me or my team members but yes this is where that is why i want the public to ask find the answer for yourself please kindly set up a meeting uh, otherwise if you if someone is so sure that these are not so some stories and i am faking it kindly file an fir on me i understand that's very clear go very to the, yeah go to the cyber police and file an fir on me that's that's Once, yeah that's very clear that's right what yeah. is the point in coming on uh, twitter and on show, doing shows on my names uh, i mean dissecting the diaries uh, this that oh my god i mean what a circus they have made of it there is no need for all the circus there is no need for all if I'm someone is not Yeah, I'm if someone kidding. is not believing, if they are so sure that they are fake, kindly go and file a fire or a cyber complaint on me. I okay. think you've answered it. You've answered yeah. it. You've answered your thing. Let's put get going going on to the another question that I had. It is like, what? How do you say now? Now, when we were talking, we said that CBI has not even put charge sheet. Hmm. How can this case go any? Who is anchoring this case? Is the question. so let me tell you what the situation is here right now okay people are saying why the family people are asking why the family is not saying anything people are asking why uh, the lawyer is not saying anything why is nothing happening from cbi side as well so i will give you the clear picture as the thing stands now the case is in court right and the court is awaiting for cbi's findings naturally right if the case is about shashank's death and even if it is about about abatement of suit it can be changed if the cbi finds that this, it is a murder that case will automatically get changed to murder it is not that a big deal there have been many narratives that be, that have been spread, spread that uh, they the uh, file case for abatement of suicide that's why it's not moving forward that's not the thing the case is there the court is awaiting for cbi's finding naturally if the supreme court has uh, uh, handed over the case to the cbi it has to wait for the cbi's findings to for to give any sort of judgment or me to make any sort of uh, you know development in the case right which is in the court so till that happens 
uh, until the case is in the court, neither the lawyer nor the family is supposed to say, is authorized to say, talk about the case on the social media, on uh, in the public media or in the media or anywhere. That will subject them to contempt of court. So there are many uh, uh, legal traps as well. The reason why, I mean, see, if Sushant's family is not speaking or if uh, Sushant's lawyer is not speaking, that doesn't mean that, uh, what do you say, uh, nothing is happening. They, nothing is, obviously nothing is happening. They are waiting for CBA. It is the CBA which has to deliver now. Everything rests on, rests on it. And it is not accepting evidence. Yeah. And, and it is not accepting evidence. So if, if it accepts the evidence, the I mean, the things, we can then press for uh, charge sheet. Come on, public, come on. Ask questions. I, see, I'm not asking you not to ask questions. Ask the right questions. And direct channelize your public power to get the work done on ground. Okay. I want to ask you this. Have you had any connect with uh, Mr. Vikas there? Because he would be, I mean, if he's a lawyer, he, he, he would be very curious about uh, what you have to say. I no, mean, I if haven't I received any for, I, haven't... For month, I would be very curious to know what you have to say. No, no. See, uh, I don't know. This is something only he can answer. I cannot answer from what are his pressures and family also, family also. I don't know which atmosphere they are in, under what sort of pressure they are in, under what kind of threat they are in, what are they facing. We don't know. Just because they are silent, we cannot just say that uh, they are not. I, I have been through this. I know how it is. Okay. So instead of me telling why uh, Vikas uh, Singh is not approached me or not responded to my messages i did message him he hasn't responded and uh, regarding sushant's family i have some reports they know about it and they are aware but again kindly do not ask me why they are not uh, this is something we should ask them i'm with you i'm just yeah. like yeah see there is there is nothing wrong and right here it is just what is happening here is that the question comes, I'm throwing it outside to the world and to them, that who is anchoring this case? When when the situation is that CBI is CBI. not the CBI, CBI is anchoring. Everything everything rests on CBI's shoulders till everything. it comes out, till our, till it comes out with the reason of death or the charge sheet. Nothing can move forward, neither the case nor anything. Right. And who and why why do you think? according to your knowledge and understanding of that you've been involved in so many other cases too, that why is it that they have not even put the charge sheet, CBI? That is what I do want to know. If they respond, then only we can talk something, right? Like uh, I had a very nice and cordial, uh, I mean, I, 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 like in the NCP, we had a talk, they were saying that we are understaffed, people think that NCB and all, but for Mumbai and uh, Goa, uh, there are uh, very little number of staff available. And uh, so see, what I'm saying here is that this is something you have to ask the CBA. Why are they not delaying? Why are they doing? I too am awaiting response from them. I flew down to meet them. What more can I do? I too, I want you people to elicit some response from them by uh, putting the pressure. Right. It has to answer. It has to answer. It, just because it is silent, uh, I mean, if I am, see, at least I have come now. I have come now. I'm, I'm saying that I have proofs. At least come start pressurizing us. Sir, why are, why is someone saying so? If there are proofs, why are you not acknowledging? If there are not proofs, why are you not taking action against her for falling, uh, for uh, spreading uh, misinformation among people? Absolutely. Right? Totally with you. And yeah. and PPG, one more thing you had i wanted you to tell to the public here that you said that when samir vankari ji was on the platform you he said that uh, sushant yes. singh was not no, no, no. Ah, yeah yes he clearly said someone asked him someone yeah. from the yeah. viewers or the panelists they say uh, was sushant uh, taking drugs was sushant doing drugs samir vankari said no he was not a drug he clearly said that it's there on record he clearly said that but unfortunately, what is happening here is that instead of, you know, uh, making that clip viral, very sad, 
we have this youtube's not cash in on the points we have we have the authority from ncb declaring that sushant is not a druggy see if you you are youtubers right i am talking about not you i am talking about that particular youtuber where he told that and this information should have spread like wildfire i am telling and you are coming to know right i am saying and you are coming to know but rather than this we are having more of like pulling other people down i mean this is totally ridiculous some i mean they are attacking me saying that we are there in this movement since long we are the original SR, ssrians how so can you come in that. that is that no, is that's what i see that's what i'm saying see what i'm saying is that what, what i'm saying is that when there is on record uh, samir wankre sir saying that sushant is not a drug when there is on record samir wankre sir saying that they are working on the inputs given by deepthi ji okay so what is the agenda behind you know uh, the same people oh, keep asking the questions the yeah. deepthi ji deepthi ji tell to the world what is your agenda behind doing and telling this uh, after you know some time that you've come what is your agenda just openly yes. tell to the world Yes, I, I actually want to call all of them in one show. It's not like that. See, I have gone. I have gone to their shows. I have gone to their shows, and I have told on the face that this is your agenda. You are not here. You are on the name of SSR Warriors and all. You have just opened a shop, and you are busy pulling down. Nitya ji, my question to you is: What is your agenda in spreading this information, which you call as authentic? What is your agenda? Why are you coming in and taking the risk of talking this at this point of time? because no one else is okay. because okay. no one else is and this is something that everyone should be aware of right this, this is something that sushant wanted people to be aware of right and actually what i understood from you when we were talking you said that you didn't want to come to the social media you wanted to actually give everything information pass on to the correct authority cbi yes cbi and other authorities so that they can do their job your intention was that but when you didn't get that much of response that you thought yes. that it would get you came on to the social media is that right exactly i yes. came on to the social media so that people start questioning they start putting some kind of pressure on the agencies hmm. right are you getting yes. see that now the only way forward in sushant's case is cbi giving stating the death uh, the reason of death coming out and stating the reason of death right filing the charge sheet tell me one thing since you have been involved in all this uh, you know before also with shri devi's case and you have the mindset for that that's why i'm asking you although you're not a lawyer but i'm still asking you why do you see that cbi is taking so long like i know you have this question but do you have any uh, any mindset around it that you've been the intent is for? not there they are aware of what has happened most hmm. probably hmm. so they don't want any evidence the intent is not there to solve this case is what i see and uh, because uh, big names are involved uh, see we have names like cbi should be interrogating people like you know khatri amitaj khatri and sandeep singh and riya chakravarti and uh, uh, siddharth pitani but strangely nothing is happening if it is happening then cbi should come out and say right what is happening and all have they have they interrogated these people no because these are uh, khatris are very big in mumbai hmm. Hmm. right his father another khatri he was involved in some major one big irrigation scam and all these khatris are very powerful uh imtiaz khatri is cousin he is a stand up com- comedian some other atul khatri or something and then his uh cousin sister i think she is an psychiatrist again she also writes articles on depression and all okay uh, she is a psychiatrist so see this they have very powerful connections and uh, if you ask me why cbi is taking so long why T- cbi took so long to file uh, took one year to file charge sheet in uh, jia khan's case why cbi is not able to solve any case till date why is cbi is taking so long i think the answer is pretty obvious the intent is not there to bring the truth out or punish the real culprits right and one more thing we still spoke about pitani the payroll payroll yep yeah, yep yeah. see it's all uh, i'll tell you one thing uh, sanya ji people are, people think that siddharth pitani's engagement pic got leaked mm. 
see nothing gets leaked which they don't want to come out okay there is a purpose for everything it got leaked that was for this 10 day payroll because you and me sitting here i i have access to some inside info but you people and if i say if i put myself in the place of communist we only receive information what comes out from you know two three sources two three layers of sources but they have siddharth pithani and whoever is being shielded or protected they have their men inside the police forces as well right so they get information prior to that so he yeah. must have anticipated arrest mm. he must have anticipated arrest by ncb there's a the reason he goes back uh, and now in the name of marriage he applied for parole and he got parole and that's the reason to, yeah you, you also mentioned the parole is not being given by ncb or any agency it is given do not by yes yes process. yes yes it is parole is something which is given by court ncb caught ncb arrested siddharth pitani it got him to mumbai then what happened is what court did yeah he, he applied for that is the loophole these advocates take out see this is totally staged the uh, engagement pic coming out and case he gets arrested he will say that in 10 days he has a marriage and he will get parole he will go back and probably i don't know this 10 days uh, he will be given the statement that he has to stick to right we don't know so but there is a bigger game than people can see because whatever now at least after sushant that you should see that what is coming out it's only sushant speaks so which got leaked thankfully but otherwise uh, this siddharth pitani and all uh, this engagement no it's a well thought out foul play this this okay. angle yeah just want to take up some 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 uh, you know comments that has come in so if we can answer that uh you know so they the i think somebody is just writing here uh no news yet from cbi so that we spoke about and one year complete so it's really you know they're pretty and this is that yes he was killed as you're saying so they are agreeing with you dipti ji uh he's mr chakradhar um i think he's also from odia <laughs> odisha and then it is uh, smriti mondal also saying dipti ma'am we believe you so there are people who are believing your story dipti and then we have shrikanth he's saying cbi investigation mumbai mein chal rahi hai ki nahi so you know that is a question that wo kya investigation kar rahe hain dipti what is an ek saal tak kya investigation ho kya raha hai main mil pati to shayad kuch pata chalta hu main bhi mil mera bhi milna nahi ho raha exactly and astrogram at least evidence to collect nahi kar rahe hain evidence hai but at least wo dekh bhi nahi rahe hain to wo kya kar kya rahe hain mujhe bhi pata nahi hai bilkul and ashok ram ji kehte hain not the matter of which authority taking or not taking but if we are not sure how we can go ahead this is the matter if cbi uh, in not taking um, uh, their mails id including promo office uh, email id and on google can do uh, can you share and uh, public it so we can reply you know like we can write to them we can do that actually why not and uh, and then we can do that mr show and then shrikant ji bol rahe hain my observation is correct salman khan involved everywhere he saved all the victims like you know uh, all these people and then he says that uh, uh, let's see yeah here here salman khan's name also came up in jia khan's case as well right mm -hmm. and sushant rai also is mentioned that some uh, transfer happened between being human account to the commissioner's account just yeah. before uh, just few days or months before rujia khan's uh, murder so he has raised this point as well yes his role is pretty much questionable uh, and of course uh, though he has many cases of he has history of uh, ab physical abuse to his uh, uh, yeah. girlfriends and he has history of you know drinking and uh, bashing people and he has history of he has a hit and run that we all know right i hope we all know what happened how when justice the only constable ravinder patel who stood true to his statement this is sad this is the sad state of fs sanya ji the only constable who stuck who stood true to his statement was punished for sticking to his statement he was removed from the police force and he was i mean he was totally isolated and he dies i mean you should you should have seen the way he was totally uh, made insane okay so this is the level of frustration they will drive uh, people to if they 
want to stick by the truth. That's true. Since Ravinder Patel was witness, he could, they couldn't kill him directly or murder him. So there, there are some other ways they will they tortured him. Okay, right. we have seen that, right? So Salman Khan, uh, about law. I'm with you. And then Mahua is saying that CBI known well its murder case, but they just want to, you know, divert. So and that is true. We all understand that. Most of the people do understand what you're saying, and they actually. I mean, like, I want to believe, you know, what you're saying, Ditiji, but it's just the thing that then it's saying, uh, he's saying. I will tell you one thing here. I will tell you one thing. There is another angle. Okay. Let, let us see. I am just suggesting an angle which can be quite, quite possible. Okay. Hmm. See, obviously, the culprits also know that there are more than one copies. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. And if the copies are with them or if the copies are with CBI, I don't know. But they surely know that one copy is missing at least. Hmm. Hmm. Right? Hmm. So maybe a narrative was created from the beginning itself. That someone who comes with such big, big claims against big, big names hmm. is a fake peddler. Hmm. Are you getting me? So that if later, if really someone who has uh, drives comes up, then people will not take this seriously. See, again, see, this kind of, you know, what a lot of games are played, mind games are played. They are just uh, like Siddharth Pitani's engagement being a prior arrangement for uh, the stand-up par parole. No, but this cannot be a coincidence. Se usko lekar jate aur se hai you know, this is not, it's not like nobody is a stupid here. You know, everybody understands. But the point is that these people are just playing the game only. They don't want to reach anywhere. And who are these people is the question because they're not one person involved. There are many people involved. The game is all about corruption, money laundering and all sorts of stuff which we, you know, can't even sometimes dream of that these cases are all it's, about. It's about Hawala, money laundering, women trafficking, drugs, organ trafficking. And Sushant has also made a mention of bio war. Bio war. The bio war. So there are indexes that I have gone through. And one of that he has mentioned is the bio war. AI project. Okay, he has clearly mentioned that he... Uh, some vested wanted to, uh, for some vested interests, wanted to misuse his AI project for data mining into biometrics networks, so that they can have the biometric uh, details of the uh, individuals at their pawn. Aadhaar uses bi biometric, right? So, so many other uh, uh, applications also use uh, biometric uh, fact. I mean, access of uh, the people, either your retina or your uh, fingerprint. Okay, right. so. So he clearly mentions in one of the slides that one very big person, okay, he hasn't uh, mentioned the name, maybe as and how we go forward, we can, he has said Mr. X uh, called him and they wanted to misuse his AI project for attaching it to a data mining project to get into the biometrics networks, okay, so that they can manipulate the data, they have the data of the people at their hand and manipulate it. And he was not okay with that. So the main reasons he was killed is uh, because of his AI project and because he wanted to expose the crimes, the some murders uh, and the drug angle and the child trafficking angle in Bollywood. I just okay. want to tell somebody asked what is this all about? We are talking. I firstly I wanted to let Deepti tell us about her disclaimers today, and she has very well explained. She's explained to us. And then I wanted Deepti because Deepti has been involved with agencies and authorities and she gets feelers from them. And she's been working in this whole thing for quite some time. So I wanted her to explain the status of Sushant Singh's case according to her experience and understanding. So this is what we are doing today. And she has given us some relevant points today to for us to think. And she's also given us some relevant, very relevant action points. What we as SSRians can do. Srikanth, you are not trolling, it's all right. We all are used to here getting trolled, it's fine. And I understand that you want justice. It's just the way, you know, there's nobody is telling anybody here. People who are trolling or not trolling is not the question. You have to do what you have to do. We will be doing what we have to do. Both Deepti, me, all the many other people, all you SSRians, we are all looking for justice. And we are trying to make some moves and, and so that, like Deepti said, that she's interested that agencies should wake up. They have to put their, you know, um, uh, feet and walk, not and almost run. And that is what we are trying to do here. Yeah. 
uh, I will tell you exactly what you people have to do. First of all, try start start asking them questions. Uh, start, uh, start a campaign where you flood the PCBI with questions that uh, kindly take note of the mention by Deepthi Arpaniti about Su Sushant Strice. Why is the CBI not acknowledging it? Uh, and if they are not true, why uh, no action is being taken? Wait, carry on this cap campaign for some two, three days or a week. Wait for the response. And if, if even then no response comes, then I would suggest the people to do what Rabiaji did. Yeah, CBC. Okay, CBC. Okay, she was the one, I mean, she did a lot of work. Rabiaji, I mean, I, I must just salute her. Being a woman with, uh, you know, no connections or standing up against the system, she has kept this case alive. Yes. She went to the CBC, she made them, uh, you know, uh, because CBI is answerable to CBC, Central Vigilance Commission. Okay. Then you approach them. If there are, uh, you know, you are obviously you, there are so many people from all parts of uh, India and all parts of the world in this moment, right? Contact some of them who is in that area where the CBC office is there. You all uh, do an online petition, sign it, send it to them. Let that person go and hand it over to coordinate and do it. That is the only way. This is the only way. Without straining your resources and without taking any risk, be in numbers as a team. Yeah. There, there will be some ground members on the just coordinate with them. They will hand it over. Everything transparent. Not that. So you got you got to and and let me tell you, if you carry forward on this campaign mission, you should always you should not trust anyone blindly. There will be many spoilers. There will be many people who will come and join this movement, but they will join this movement to disrupt it. They will start the. They will start, uh, you know, quarrels between each members. They will. They want to keep. So this is something which you have to take card of. Just mm -hmm. stick to only one plan. Mm -hmm. Pressurize CBA. If they are still not responding, approach CBC. Keep a time frame. Do aggressive campaigning. Do aggressive, uh, you know, trying to catch their attention. Even if then, if they're not responding, then uh, write to the CBC. Okay, you can write them. You can write the mails, but you should also someone should also visit the office and uh, hand over a uh, hard copy as well. Okay, because that will be more effective. Right. Right. Okay. Let's let's. Uh, I just want to say, Dipti, up up. Batayi ki jo apne abhi 25 percent ya 30 percent jitna apne kiya. You're in a. You have the intention of decoding the whole thing yes so let's hope we're going to be hearing from you more when you are done that and uh, very very curious to hear it and i understand things you don't want to explain i do understand all that and we would see respect i them. am getting i have been receiving a lot of calls i have been getting a lot of messages from all a lot of quarters but it is not wise to tell the names and all i, I See, what matters is if something is happening on ground or not. Okay. People need not know what uh, talks are happening, what approaches are being made. You asked me, I told you, right? But other than that, I'm making my trials as well. Right. But as a public, what you can do, I cannot do. If you can put pressure, then, I mean, we should actually work. We can get it done. But the pressure should be channelized and put in the right direction. It should not be like so much distract with so many distractions and people coming and I mean just uh, spreading negativity. I mean pitting one uh, warrior against another, one supporter against. It's, I mean they have made a circus of it. Kindly avoid that. If you want something for real, you are not in here for your egos or something. It's for justice, right? The only way to justice, the only way forward in this moment of justice for the cause of justice is CBI declaring the reason of death. There is no other alternative to it. So the only thing that you people need to do is start aggressive campaigning, asking them for to come out with it. I'm with you. I'm with you. And the reason, yeah. like the first thing they have to put is the charge sheet. And so we have exactly to, right. So that is where the procedures will start. Going they have ahead. to declare the reason of that and then file the charge sheet as well. Exactly. So I'm totally with you, Dipti. And there's anything else you want to say? Because I yes, was... I would like to say here that here is where the uh, lawyer, uh, sh uh, because Singhji or uh, any fund from the family can 
take i mean like rabia ji approached if if they are not able to maybe they are not able to because of some pressures we don't know what is going what they are going through if they are not doing if they are not doing any one of us can do it right right not wait for the family to approach yeah we can we can also he is a public figure he is a public figure yeah yes, yes. you're right and i mean like we we hope the you know the mr vikas bhalla is you know vikas singh big mr vikas singh is mm-hmm. their advocate sushant singh's advocate mr vikas singh is actually doing uh, things the way then he needs to do but we don't hear anything we don't uh, know anything so and as you said that he doesn't want to probably do the contempt of court so he's waiting and watching but i don't know if that is what uh, is going to give him any uh, answers we don't know that and we believe the no, little see we- uh, because see even i tried to contact my i didn't talk to him about the drives or something but um, i i spoke with mahesh shetty once sushant's friend who is a witness in the case he straightly told me no 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 ji i don't i cannot talk anything about it i am not permitted to talk anything about it that's the reason i am not going on any shows or any interviews we are not allowed as i am one of the witness of the Mahesh case by the mahesh shetty mahesh shetty uh, by the court yeah yes by by the court i tried to get some information from him i didn't tell him about the drive something because at that point of time i didn't uh, have lem i mean i didn't have access to the drives so i did contact him a month ago or two months month or two back uh, i spoke to him he was he was very decent enough but he said kindly understand uh, i shouldn't be talking anything uh, about the case as of now so i will come out and say when i am ready when the time is right Yes, what he said. Yeah. Okay. So that is that is some some people have this. So I understand that who because the court is it's the it's an really on the trial and probably they cannot speak. So you know that is true. So that is another angle to it, and that is why I think a lot of people must have understand even the family and the lawyer that they have that they cannot really really speak what happened. Yes. So that is something we all must understand. But Dipti, uh, anything else we would like to share on this case? Because I think we've got the whole picture pretty clear, uh, you know. And it's uh, the everything lies on CBI. And if CBI, we and if you a, and if you leave it to CBI, hmm. it will go on like Jia Khan's case and all. If you leave it, yeah. Rabia ji was alone. You all are such a force. Kindly channelize it, and you can do it. Come on, public pressure. They, they i mean public pressure can bring uh, can bring down big big governments it has happened in the history come on very true very true now i'm with you in that and i think uh, so grateful to you deepthi that you came in and you actually in spite of all the you know not <laughs> thinking <laughs> and everything you're still on the scene on the wave and i really appreciate that and uh, let's hope that cbi is going and, and you have before we leave i want to just stand by and say that you said that if you, if anybody things that you are are you know spreading wrong information you are saying that okay put the fir against yes me. kindly go and file a contact the authorities why are you being a judge why are you being a judge here sitting and why are you trying to i mean uh, give a verdict about it yeah. and if you are so sure rather than trying to give a verdict and i mean you know you follow you should ignore it right if you think they are fake and if you don't want to get into the complaint thing and everything rather ignore it what is your agenda behind continuously reading what i am sharing and then commenting on it maligning it defaming it right making a lot of sense uh, dipti yeah, but- yes let me tell, let, let me put it in the correct correct perspective not everyone will believe i don't expect everyone to believe or something some many people will be skeptical before because of the experience that they have had with uh, earlier ah. yet earlier people who thought who they thought were toss bearers of sushant sisters they have had a bad experience i do understand they will proceed with caution but if anyone doesn't believe it okay they should ignore it they if they are so very emotionally attached with sushant's case that they are not able to ignore it then kindly uh, go to the police station or cyber file a cyber complaint or something that i am spreading of uh, fake this thing or something so it, they will but if they are confused if they don't know whether to believe or not to believe kindly when i have now i have removed the disclaimer 
okay just go and keep ask contact the cbi office you can get the numbers and all contact them ask them that uh, there is this lady who is saying that what is the uh, kindly acknowledge if the drives are there why is the cbi not taking if the drives are fake why is no action being taken on her for spreading misinformation about a case which is still in the court yes yes i agree with you right mm. So I'm totally with you, Deepthi. I think you've made it very clear, and this was my intention today to let people know, and and just just let you be basically. And as you rightly saying that if they believe in you, they support you. If they don't believe you, either you ignore or you go to a CBI and question them, or even go to that length, go against and write the FIR, FIR again. Uh, exactly. They're so sure that, that they're fake. Like Go yeah. and take action. Exactly. So you. What is your agenda? Office. What What is your agenda behind reading every coming behind every tweet and the starting this malicious malign com campaign? Right. And I think you you're making a lot of point. I just want to urge all the Sasarians that if anything has to be won, if the battle for justice has to be won, as Zipti has rightly said, that we need to channelize our energy on the right track with one single focus of saying and asking questions to CB CBI. because it's cbi who has the last card on their hands so they have the card on their hands and we must focus there and rest everything either we believe or not believe it's up to us so i just thank you for being here dipthi and uh, uh, you know uh, spending your energy and time and absolutely i'm grateful to you that you are here with us thank you so yes, much thank, thank you so much thank, thank you thank you, thank thank you. Thank you. Bye. good night yeah. good night So this was Deepthi Pinati, and I wanted to. My reason for coming here today was to actually, you know, just make things very clear from her perspective, and actually come to the bottom of what's happening in Sushant's case. My question is that I hope somebody is anchoring, and as she said, that it's if it's CBI who's anchoring the case, if CBI who has the final, you know, say on that. Let's question CBI. Let's write petition to CBI. Let's ask them why haven't they yet put any charge sheet. let ask them let, why aren't you not taking some kind of uh, you know these these kind of uh, digital uh, copies that she's offering you why aren't you even receiving her why aren't you responding to this kind of you know information that she's trying to give what is happening so i hope if we all can uh, you know come together and we all can do something and really put things in action and go from you know use this social media uh, really as a strength for the right purpose because we all as sasarians truly want the you know justice for our loved son sushant singh rajput he was a true hero he was our uh, you know common guy who raised from very low and he raised and he became a star he's still a star he's got such a pure soul that even today after his you know one year after his death he's still prevalent he still rules the hearts of millions of you know people all around the world not just in india but also all around the world so i would just urge you all assessarians to you know channelize the positive energy you know we will get lot of confusions we will get distray we will get astray but let's focus and ask demand for justice to the right authority or the right agency it's cbi and if in case we believe that cbi is not able to fulfill its deal we can go to cbc as rabia ji uh, did it for in in jia's case and cbc is central vigilance uh, uh, agency there we can, they are the ones who are you know uh, the, the cbi has to answer them so we can also go there and or anybody who can from our side can you know do the petitions and we can actually work together and do these things so i urge you people to come and take the initiatives of doing the right thing so that we can be the help to the family for the right cause you know we will not, we don't want to troll anybody we don't want to troll family we don't want to troll the lawyer of the family we don't want to troll anybody what we want to do is raise questions raise relevant questions and to the right authorities at the right time and that is what we're going to do and i hope assessarians you guys will be uh, you know uh, standing straight there and doing the right thing thank you so much jai hind